Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Spazcraft. Last time we built the tunnel that cuts through the underwater tavern to where my vaults are going to be. And in between episodes here, I have constructed the first spiral door. Now, I used Mumbo's video and he didn't time the repeaters correctly. Um, then he commented what he thought they should be and it still wasn't quite right. So <laughs> it's, um, I kind of did my own thing and I bought it. This one is still too slow, but I can't speed it up anymore. I don't think from what I've been trying to do, if I speed it up anymore or slow it down anymore, then it doesn't pull it down. Um, this seems to be more finicky, this double pull down at 1.9 and everything else though, I think is fine. It goes back together much better. I'm thinking that this is actually like more of a visual bug, um, than it actually not working so this actually works fairly well um, and I swear it is like every 30 to 45 seconds someone with a loud car or motorcycle is like roaring down the road by my apartment it's ridiculous just drive your car the speed limit is 25 through downtown you can't even like anyway this is set up where the redstone wiring where I'm gonna pull this around and up along the side to where we're gonna build the redstone thing here so i actually need a little bit more resources here specifically because i needed a lot more repeaters um, than i thought i did so i need to go get some more of the smooth stone that i have up there that i've been smelting and then we're also going to get together our keys we're going to name some items um, to do the key we're gonna have the um the vault key and then the i don't know i, I keep calling this the vault where like i just keep extra resources so overflow vault key I don't know I like calling this the vault key and then this can be like the um, I don't know what, what would you call you would want to call like both of these vaults I could just number them but overflow vault I don't know nice vault <laughs> that sounds so dumb I just think this one on the left should be called the vault and the one on the right should be whatever um, Whatever you'd call like a really nice show off place. I'll think of the name here, but I'm gonna go walk up to my house and grab some stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and build this and wire this up to get a key needed to open this and see if I can get that to excessively work before I start working on this um, off screen here. So let me go run back to my house, which will take a mere few minutes um, because I've got this set up now. I just need to get a minecart lifter upper that you get on that goes and like takes you up there because ladders are slow and it's like 150 blocks from down here at normal water level maybe a little bit below normal water level here in um it's like 50 down there at the bottom where i'm building to the tops of amplified which is like nearly 200 okay so this is going to work um by a renaming so I'm just gonna use paper in this case because you actually need like 20 I think three let's do 24 so we have one extra um, that's what we do it and we're just gonna basically rename the item because you can rename any item in the game whatever you really want it to be so I'm gonna call this vault key and it'll cost one level to do each of these I think um, or maybe it's the whole stack we'll find oh it's the whole stack so now there you go that's a neat nifty minecraft trick if you need to rename a bunch of items, don't do them individually. It'll cost you one each. Just do the whole stack. It'll cost you the same price. So now we have 24 vault keys, and we'll be putting that inside of a dropper. And um, I think I got enough stuff now to go back down, and we will finish setting up that first vault door because I just came up here to get some extra stone, um, and I have enough resources to do the rest of this, I believe. So... Yeah, we'll go ahead down. And I thought of a name for the other one. I was thinking of Penthouse, like the top floor of the fanciest restaurant. And you get the whole room yourself. Um, I thought that that would be a good one, even though we're going to be kind of underground. It won't be like the top level, but some way for it to be like shown off is the nice section. Because um, I think that's where I want to keep all the valuables here instead of making a nice fancy room up there. I think up there I'm just going to keep that like strictly looking like a home with actual functionality. Well, I got it set up. I just have to do some modifications here, probably with some sort of the inverted or the T flip flop or something to like store the state 
of the system. Because uh, as you can see now, it's just this little contraption back here. Again, this is Mumbo Steel. Uh, vault key put in here, this is how many it holds. And I've put one vault key in the dropper, which allows me to press this button, which sends a redstone pulse. But you notice it's a pulse and it does not last. So I could make a lever flip, but I don't want it to do that because I want it to like, um, maybe I can have it like automatically close behind me. And, or, because you could go, in, okay, there's a couple, there's a lot of ways to do this. First way is leave it as a button. So it's a time deal. So just for like some testing purposes, let's do this and this and this and this. And then set basically all of these to max. And if I put the key in and I do this, it sends the pulse out. Then I can take the key back. Oh, hang on. I messed something. I messed something up. Let me try this again. No, the pulse dies. It doesn't stay. A st I was thinking it could like ex pull out the pulse. Okay, so that doesn't work. Um, I could make it a lever that would have it delayed, like turned off. Let me try that because that was my next best guess here. So, nope. Okay, so it only sends a pulse because it sends the item back. So this still doesn't work. Or does, does this even work as like a way to transport a signal? Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> Let's do that. Does that work? Um, I still think that it's... Okay, I see what I need to do. So let me mess around with this to figure out what the crap <laughs> I have to do. Because um, I think I think on the other side, there's just going to be like a trip wire that will close it behind you or open it for you. But again, because I, I don't just want to like put the key in, you go inside, it stays open, then you come back out and close it. I want it to be you put the key in, you flip it. You could take the key out, walk inside, cause it to close behind you, and then when you come back the other direction, you just open it and then it closes like when you just come through the other way. Or you put your key in to close it. Uh, would be There's lots of options, so let me, let me think through this and see how I'm going to do it. Alright, I got it working. So what I did is I've got one of the variations of the T-flip-flop here. It took me... I didn't know this was a thing. I didn't know that you could put repeaters into each other and it becomes like a cross-signal thing. And it's this thing with the bedrock and you can adjust this. I didn't know this was a thing. I thought it was something weird that happened with the comparators. I it took me a while. I had to look this up to figure out what the heck this was, because otherwise this is a pretty simple setup, and it's pretty basic what's happening. So say, um, dang it. So you see there's no vault key in here. Nothing's happening. The doors will open. So what I want to do is i got to put a vault key in here. It has to be a piece of paper named vault key, just like the one I have. And it closes up. So what is happening over here is you can see this basically adjusts the signal that happens. And now this thing opens up and I'd say I walk, oh, this thing opens up. I take my key out, I walk through, then I press the button here and it'll close it up. And then I wanna leave, I press the button here, it opens it up. And I put the key in here and I close it. And then I take the key out and I leave. So, what I, I'm not good enough for rest, so this will be something to probably for me to revisit later, is to make it timed on that side. Like when I press the button to leave, it opens it and then it like stores a signal and it times it and it sends the pulse through again and it leaves. Um, so it closes behind me. So you only need the key to open it at the start so you don't have to like put the key in again to close it. But um, it's also kind of a safety measure, so I don't know. It's kind of a safety flaw rather. Uh, I had to put the key in again at the end because I'm probably going to forget it and leave it in there. So the way this works is I could have renamed this like a variation of characters. Um, something so that nobody knows what it is because you can't – I'm going to have this walled in and like you're not going to be able to see what this is named. So you're not going to know what item you have to put in here or what that item is going to be called. 
So you need to find out which paper you would know what it's called. But obviously this is easy to guess. And I'm going to have this sitting somewhere in my house and someone can probably find and take it. But it's an idea for you to use if you actually need to make something secure. Um, so, although nothing is ever truly secure in the Minecraft world because really someone can just like break this and then like place a redstone torch and send the pulse or just break right through this wall. I didn't make it up sitting. But in a world, if you're on a server and things are like blocked in where like you don't have permissions to destroy blocks, but you still want the chance for people to use contraptions to get into that area. This is just an idea for you. Um, but you could make this a variation of keys and you can change it regularly too. You could always change it. Um, but you can see I've got two keys to go ahead and get in. So this first door is complete and it's nothing fancy. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this redstone cleaned up. I'm going to cover the walls in. It's going to look plain for right now. I'm probably just going to put stone everywhere to make it clean and just planned. And then I'll come back and I'll decorate and I'll put wood in the walls and do things but I just want to get it all completely smoothed off and functional for me to get in there um, and I'm going to leave this open because I'm not going to work on this one yet I think I want to make the vault first um, then I'm just going to kind of like close this section off but I want to make the vault first and bake the inside of the vault probably before I start on this because other than building the door meh meh I mean, maybe I will when all the stuff st I have all the redstone stuff down here but I really want to get that stuff sorted in my house because that's just kind of what's on my mind at the moment and I'm also going to figure out what I'm going to do with this because this is, I guess I'm going to have this tunnel walled off here, and then you're going to come through. And it's going to be nice and symmetrical with the second vault door here. I thought the coal looked better than obsidian. Um, I really think it did. Um, and I thought I don't use coal blocks very often, so why not? Because I've got enough of them, and they're, just, they're so dark. Um, but... I, I could replace this with actual stone and just leave that. That might look a bit better. That looks a little weird from this side, you know? I might replace that with something else. Not sure what it's going to be. Um, this is fun. Boop. Okay, well, I'm going to start working on smoothing this all up, and we'll see how it shapes it up. Well, I've got some work done, so let me show you real quick what I've done. I've kind of finished out the end pattern for this. I'm going to probably continue the sea lantern thing all the way through this tunnel until you get into this main room. Um, really going with the basic design because, one, I just didn't feel like putting the time into it um, and making something cre creative and amazing. Two, I kind of wanted it to be the same sort of theme of like these interior rooms as what my actual house is, um, which will kind of make it seem like it's still like mine when people see it. Um, three... It is a vault, so it's going to be plain, and it needs to be made out of, like, stone and just, like, solid objects to make it be kind of, like, protective, um, which is why I've gone with some of this. It's not completely finished yet. I've obviously got a bunch more stuff to do, but I did do a little bit of work in here. Um, I love I love this thing. I, I messed up. I was replacing these uh, with stone, and I messed up, and I destroyed a bunch of Peters, and I didn't know what settings they were on, and I, it's a little bit different, I think, than it was, but it works. Um as to what it's covered. So basically just this plain room. Um, I had the envision making the whole thing lava. And then I was like, no, I'll save that for the really fancy room. It'll just be like lava on all sides and, and a part of it. So I was like, let me just do a lava down the middle path. Um, and then basically line the walls with chest. Now I had an idea of just having like one chest out front. that's like, Hey, this is the cobblestone chest. And then just have like rows of chests back behind the wall that I can fill up. It'll be like the top chest. I put it in, it'll like flow back and then like fill them all up and then come up here. But then I was like, nah, Maybe down the road if I really wanted to do a big project like that to make a big sorting system, but I'm going to keep it simple. This is my first time I've done something like this. That's maybe for like another season of this when there's like a new map and I want to do a big sorting project. Um, otherwise, this is how it's all going to remain. And I'm just going to basically sort it like this. So here we goes. I'm just going to like fill these chests with like this will be cobble and this will be this. Um, not really sure how I'm going to split it up because like if I fill up like the three rows I designate to cobblestone, then... Maybe I'll just cut behind and fill it up with fill it up with more chests. Um, maybe do something like that. If these, or maybe I'll, I'll have like two or three columns of it, and then I'll like like dig behind and expand this back if I need to, and it'll be like a big bank of them, if it ever got to that, um, which it might, it might. So I think I'll just do like with like some of these will just have two rows in front, some of them will have one row in front, and then I'll just have basically banks behind them if I need to. Um, Rather, maybe I'll have like a little door right here or something that I can get around. That might actually be a pretty good idea. A way to combat it where if I need to expand instead of like 
either having to move everything over or put like more cobble way down here at the end, I can just go behind and expand it backwards. That'll probably be exactly what I do. So yeah, pretty basic, pretty bland. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more work on this section here. As far as making it nice, I have to take a trip um, back up to my base and make a whole bunch more stone. So I'll need to do all of that. And probably get some more wood for some chests, cut some more trees. Now just do a little bit more detail in here and get like this tunnel done, this half of it done, and then fill that up with chests. And then I'm gonna start the moving the item process and I'll update you guys when I get to that point again. Um, this is actually the second day I've been working on this project and I'll probably be working on it on a third or fourth day after this before this episode gets wrapped up. Hopefully I'll get it finished before the end of the weekend so you guys don't go too long without seeing what I am doing here on the server. Um, I have ordered Tomodachi Life. It was Caitlin's and I, um, Caitlin and I, we decided it was going to be our anniversary gift here up on, we're here at four years and we were like, you know what? Um, we want a game to play this summer. We played New Leaf through the winter and into the spring and uh, it's okay. We're, I'm personally burnt out with New Leaf. I played so many hours of it that first summer and I get so frustrated when neighbors destroy my crap. And it's really only fun to be playing it with her. We really only have fun when we play it together. We wanted a game, we needed basically a new game to play together. Um, since she doesn't play too much Minecraft. So I ordered that. And we're going to be playing that. So hopefully it doesn't take too much time away from the Minecraft. Um, it's going to be our game we're going to be playing this summer. Um, along with some other stuff. Um, but it's one of the new games I got. So you'll probably hear me talk about that. Because I watched tons of videos of it, of people playing it on YouTube. And especially the bit block, Josh Thomas, it's absolutely hilarious. And I can't wait to play that myself with her. So that will be happening, and hopefully I don't. Because this week, end of this week, and I have lots of free time as we head towards the end of the semester here. And hopefully I will get to use that free time. Um, to still play some Minecraft, of course, you guys some good videos here, so you get some content. So let me get to work. Um, I'll check out how much time I've got in this video. I think... I'll have a little bit of an update once I start moving some stuff, and then that'll probably be it uh, before we um, go on to the next stage of this project, or maybe pick up something new and take a break from this. Oh, did want to mention, I get so many comments about Avius, and I put some update videos about it, but our IP changed about four or five times because we were basically trying to find a new host, and I did want to mention... Uh, the server is up, but it's on 1.8 and it's on Sponge, but you can connect with it with any with 1.8.9 Vanilla Minecraft. Um, 1.9 will be coming soon. You have to go to the forums. There's a, there's a topic section called, like, New Map Sponge 1.9, 1.8. You have to go in there, and I have the IP posted there. Um, it's basically a test world. It only has limited plugins installed. Um, there's no, like, Avis as you knew it before because we're no longer using Bucket because that's not really a thing anymore. Zerthic just completed a whole bunch of new plugins he programmed himself. Uh, he just did a brand new one. He made his own shop plugin, which is going to be amazing. He just finished it, so we're doing some beta testing of that now. And when 1.9 Sponge comes out, which will probably be right about when my semester ends and summer begins here in the beginning of May, we'll, we're going to release a whole bunch of stuff. There's quests on the forums you can do in the meantime. So just check it out. There's a whole bunch of content on there. It's a little old now, but go ahead and check it out. It'll get you ready for when the map releases, um, hopefully this summer in 1.9 Sponge. Um, we're basically just been waiting for plugins to be programmed, so it's kind of like a test world that's kind of up right now. But you can go check it out. It's not the IP that's been broadcasted before or that's on the banner on the website. You have to dig it up. I have got my chest laid out, and basically what I'm going to do now is take some of these hooligans that are on with me to go take items from all the different places I have items with. My empty, I'm going to empty out the inner chest, and then I'm going to empty out a um, my donkey's inventory, and then I'm going to run all the way back and fill up that vault and start stuffing it up to get it ready to uh, be closed up. All right, with the help of I Davis, I have moved all of the items from the instant mine area, which was like three and a half double chests full of crap. And now literally all of these are just full of crap and it's kind of crazy. I had to use my mule to help which saved me like one extra shift and an empty ender chest. And I had to make all the portals three wide and it was just a pain in the butt. Um, he almost died like suffocating a couple times. So it was really kind of painful, but I did it. And I got some items down there and over there. And 
some stuff down in that mine that I'm going to need to move, but I can probably do those with just myself and an ender chest and not needing much else. So I have all these items. I also smelted a bunch of stone. And the ideas behind this is going to be to just store them, to go through what I need to and get rid of all these chests and and really just store all the crap down there that I want. There'll be nether rack because I got chests of that, and the stones. Um, this is to finish decorating down there. Um, but yeah, they're all done. So this will be kind of an off-screen project, um, and you probably won't see me talk about it much unless I either finish it or I do another section down there. I'll just be sorting my chest kind of off screen and organizing things as we go along. It's going to be an off screen project. The next on screen project, again, unless I finish something down there, will probably be a squid farm, an enderman farm, or something. Um, the gold farm we built, the guy, Snow Crash, he released an update for 1.9, a whole like redo of it. They made it much more efficient and faster with slime box. It's crazy. We're not going to build it or do the changes because it's kind of it's kind of something we would have done if we would have been building it from scratch again. We're not going to do that. But here in the near future, um, I did want to mention we are now on the 1.9.3 pre-release. It's amazing how smooth the game runs. Um, it's really, I say that and I'm at 30, but I think that's Fraps capped me off at 30. Um, because otherwise I get 60 everywhere. Oh, wait, it's actually, I have 60 right now, and I put up F3, and it plummets it to 30 for some reason. That's just Fraps probably doing something. Um, but yeah, it's really great that I have all this stuff, and I'm really kind of excited to get things organized down there. I'm just not a fan of how long it takes to travel up and down, so I might make a rail cart. I went down the gold farm. I'm gonna have to spend some t AFK time at the gold farm to repair all my tools. But the iron farm, we have like two stacks of blocks plus some. It's amazing how much we have. Um, really plenty of iron to make rails to go up and down and plenty of gold for the power rails, plenty of redstone. We're really ready to roll. Um, so yeah, look for an update video at some point in the near future about Avius and the status of my channel and all the update stuff going on. I do need to share that. Uh, Zerthic just made a shop plug and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. So that's it for this episode. Um, I'm going to again, move it all myself. Hopefully you're enjoying Stardew Valley. If you haven't checked it out yet, check out my first video. I might have uploaded a couple by now when this goes up later this weekend. I've really enjoyed playing the game. I've put in a lot of hours into it. Um, it's just kind of a fun, like, relaxing thing to do. And it's an RPG. It's a little quest, a little collections and completion stuff. It makes it kind of fun. And it's it's a pretty it's cheap price, too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting Spazcraft. Thank you for all your feedback. The last couple of videos have been getting so many more views than the last ones. Um, you guys are really starting. A lot of old people are coming back. Um, and I think we're kind of like pushing on to like defining new parts, a new style for this channel. So thank you guys for watching. I have one week of classes left and then it's summer vacation. I will talk to you guys later. See ya. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out some more Minecraft, why not check out my Sky Factory 2 Let's Play with Zerthig and Necker by clicking here in the top left. If you'd like to see something else, you can check out my Eidolon Let's Play that I'll be finishing this summer by clicking here in the top right. You can follow me on Twitter down below, and then if you'd like what you've seen so far and you have yet to subscribe, click the big banner below.